Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome to a single player game. It's spooky season, we've got Scorn, it came out today, it looks incredibly weird. I'm feeling very anxious before even getting started here. The menu screen alone is freaking me out. This guy here, very animated. The quality looks amazing, the graphics look disgusting. So, let's give it a shot. Let's go. The imagery is terrifying. This is a game all done in the style of H.R. Geiger, who did all the alien stuff, like all the concept art. Uh, and it looks... It looks amazing. But also disconcerting. <laughs> okay. This is me. This is my life. This is going to be a trip. Oh my god. <laughs> Ever since I saw this on the Steam page, I knew that this was going to be a game for me. Hopefully I can handle it. I'm a little bit concerned. Okay. Well, a great start. We've already taken a 300 meter fall. God, why am I so nervous? I don't know, but I am. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Get on up, buddy. God, the graphics look insane. Okay. Oh, I'm in control now. Do I have legs? Oh! Oh, look at me! God, look at this, they actually properly texted everything. I can walk. I can sprint. I can interact with this. I can not interact with this? Alright, well that's not working. Uh, let's go for a little explore here. I feel like I'm literally inside an alien cocoon. Oh my god! Well, this is wonderful. All right, let's go have a little look up here. If the entire world is this beautiful, I'm going to be in an absolute... Either dream or nightmare. Tubes. All right. <gasps> Another door. Okay, can I use this? Is there something I'm missing here? There's a little icon. I guess the little crossed out icon means I can't do that. Uh, okay, what is this room all about? It's huge. This is like the room... God, at the start of Alien with the jockey. Okay, well, I can't seem to do anything. Let's just follow the road. Alright, well I'm feeling a little bit more in control now that I know that I can sprint. Come on, Panda. Squeeze on through there. We're going to imagine my character's name is Panda. Ah, brilliant. Okay, what have we got here? A tube? Yeah, just put your fist in it. Oh. Gross. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Like a punch dagger? Doing an Assassin's Creed? Uh, okay. What's this? I'm gonna put a fist in there too. Apparently just putting your fist in things is a normal thing to do. Uh, alright, let's have a little look around the corner first. There's... A chair. Alright, let's put off... I assume we're gonna put our fist in this too. Maybe that's just gonna be the way this goes. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Stick your fist in it! Direction? Use? I didn't see that in the bottom. Oh! Uh, use? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Very bloody strange. Exit. All right, release my fist, please. Oh, shit. All right, we're through. Okay, right, this bloody is absolutely atmospheric as balls. I'm feeling it. All right, how do I use... I can't use my little fist weapon. I assume it's a weapon. Holy shit. This is out there. This is incredibly out there. All right, well, let's continue adventuring. That looks like a scorpion tail. I use this. Stick my fist in this. We cannot. All right, let's try and avoid sticking my fist in everything. Uh, do we have an inventory yet? We do not. Uh, I guess we're going to go up onto that platform. Uh, let's just do that. Let's just crack on. This is obviously where it wants me to go. I say obviously. <gasps> Stick your fist in it. What in the fuck? What? Alright, apparently I'm just gonna walk around sticking my hands into it. Stick my fist into everything that I can find. Oh, there's a dead person! Uh... Okay, right, so you shouldn't sit in there. Let's take a look at this dead guy! Oh, there's lots of dead people. Things. Creatures. Oh, he looks sad. Alright, let's not sit in that, because we have our head chopped off. Uh... God, there is a lot! And I don't understand a single thing. So many corpses, though. Alright, we're in a house of a million corpses here. Got some corpses in a thing. Alright, let's just keep on running around. Maybe I'll figure out something that makes some sense. Because at the moment, obviously I'm in just a complete alien hellscape. And i got absolutely no clue. Okay, so we're back in the main room. So what was the, um... Let's go have a little look upstairs. At least we can look around a bit. Uh, no idea. Alright, I'm just going to have to keep on running around here. But the thing down there is lit up. Wherever that chair is. Let's go have a little peek at that. Uh, and maybe that will unlock the secrets here. So it's all about this chair. Which I can't seem to use. Oh. Can't get in from there. But the icon's lit up from here. This game's gonna be the death of me. Okay, so down one of these places that I came from, there was like a lift that goes up. So I'll try and find myself that. Here we go. Alright, here's something that I can actually seem to interact with. Yes! Progress! Alright, I'll reward myself with a sip of tea. Nice. Alright, reward got. Alright, okay. Cool. What can we do from the top layer here? There's a, oh, there's a lot of ways to go. For just one... For just one room. Everything in this game is gross and weird. Okay, a door. Cannot use any of the doors. Alright, so I think we have to have a new attachment for my hand or a key card. I don't, this doesn't seem like the kind of world where you're going to see a key card, does it? Oh my god, I can just keep on going without any idea what the hell is going on. Right? Well, definitely setting the tone of the game here. Hopefully there's a little bit of explanation at some point. Because at this current point, I am super confused. Is this the way it came from? Another terminal in the center of the room? Oh my god! Okay, lots of weird orifices all over the wall. Stick man in here. See what this does. Okay, it's a grabber. Grab this. <gasps> what in the fuck is going on? Is it a puzzle? 
Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, let's stop using this one for now. What in the fuck is going on? Yeah, stick your things in there, man. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, it is a puzzle game. So it wants what's ever in that slot there. Alright, so we're going to try and get a lit up pod to that top left one. Alright, that seems like a bit more feasible. And nothing over there. Alright, okay, okay, I can definitely do this. Alright, it's just like one of those stupid puzzles you get when you're a kid. Uh, so let's see, we've got a lit up one there. So, to get that over, I can't move that one. There's a lit up one there as well. Okay, this egg actually looks like the healthiest, so let's grab that down, move it along, move this along, move this down, this is going to be the death of me, this is so confusing, okay, put that up there, and we can now move Mr. Lit up into spot. Alright, let's see if grabbing that is going to be beneficial to my whatever objective I've got here. Yes, grab the delicious lit up egg. Yum. What? That wasn't it? Okay, so if I was a puzzle master designing a blindingly weird game. Oh, I might be getting somewhere now. The dream. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's got to be it. Oh my god. If there's more puzzles like this in the game, I am just going to bloody throw my computer out the fucking window. Right, that should be it. If this is what I've been trying to achieve, I've got absolutely no bloody clue. Come on. I can have myself another reward cup of tea if this works. S sip of tea at least. Pinch it. Yes. Oh, I see arms and legs dangling from it. Oh. Okay. Yes. That was bloody hard. Celebratory cup of sip of tea. It's alive? Oh, Jesus. All right, I guess that's what we're meant to be messing with downstairs. Okay, bye. I did a thing. Oh, I'm super invigorated now. And the machine is working. All right, cool. That was weird as shit, I've got to be honest. That was super weird. Right, how the hell do I get down from this bloody platform? Uh, lift down. Okay. All right, so let's go find out what we actually just dumpstered down into the below realm. I don't know where it dropped down to. Uh, but it's bloody somewhere. Okay. Well, hopefully we get a little bit of uh, context to what is going on and who we are and where we are. Over there, and it came down and... Oh, we used the grabber. Now we're going to grab it. Alright, now we're, now we're thinking with bloody grabbers. Hello, strange person. I'm so sorry about whatever I'm about to do to you. Are we going to free him? Hey. How's it going? Now what? I guess we go say hello. Hello, sir. I freed you. I push him around. Oh, he's on rails. Okay, this makes sense. Hello. I, I'm sorry. I'm either sorry or happy for whatever's happening to you right now. Do you enjoy this? Oh. Oh, no. I'm doing horrible things to this poor little chap. 
Don't worry, friend, it's probably for the best. Oh! I don't think he liked that. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. All right, we're going to push him along this way. I'm sorry if that hurt. Uh, maybe he's writhing around in pleasure. Doesn't look it. All right, off we go. Next year, next look, next on for your uh, next section here. All right, so that was the that's the rails that I'm doing upstairs, buddy. I don't know your name. What's, let's name him. He's gonna be called Steve. Okay, Steve. I mean, we're not meant to be here. So the track there, I could take the track and it would take him down. That seems like a dead end. Take him down here. And this, is this where we do our next stage of terrifying things to this guy? All right, so we're going to flip the track. And he's pulling back. Pulling back. It's going to be okay, Steve. 